A third alternative is what is called a big flip. In the big flip, what we're doing is we're bringing down half the nodes at once. So in other words, the service is available at 50% of the full capacity. So you see that with the big flip, half the nodes are down. So we have reduced the server capacity, the total DQ available by 50% for U units of time. And the total upgrade is going to last two times U because we've partitioned the entire server capacity into two halves and upgrading one half, upgrading the second half for two times U time units. We're not going to have full capacity. And during this two times U time unit, we get the service at 50% capacity. And at the end of this, it is back up to full capacity. So these are the three different choices that you've got. The fast reboot, where the upgrade time for the entire service is just equal to the upgrade time for a single node. But here, we don't have the service available for any of the users for that period of time. And this might be a, a good strategy for services that can exploit the diurnal property of user community. Rolling upgrade is the more common one where what we are doing is we are upgrading the servers one at a time, but it's going to take a long time, especially when you're talking about data centers having thousands and thousands of processors. Rolling upgrade is going to take a long time, and it might be done in batches, for instance, instead of being exactly one at a time. And the extreme of that rolling upgrade is this big flip where we're saying we'll bring down 50% of the nodes, upgrade them, and then turn them back on, and then do the upgrade for the remaining 50%. So in the third case, in the big flip, the service is always available, but at 50% capacity for a certain duration of time. But there's no way to hide the DQ loss, and you'll see that the DQ loss, which is shown by the area of the shaded rectangle in each one of these cases, the area in the shaded rectangle is exactly the same. In other words, the DQ loss is the same for all three strategies, and it is the DQ loss of an individual node, the upgrade time for an individual node, and the number of servers N that you have in your server form. That's the total DQ loss for online evolution, and all that these different strategies are saying is, as a system administrator, you have a choice on how you want to dish out the DQ loss and make it apparent or not apparent to the user community. In this case, it's going to be apparent to the entire user community that there is upgrade going on. In this case, different segments of the user community are going to notice that the service has become unavailable for a short duration of time. And here, it's sort of in between these two extremes and that half the user community may see a service being unavailable for some amount of time. So in other words, using the DQ principle, maintenance and upgrades are controlled failures that can be handled by the administrator of a system service. So what we have seen through this concept of DQ is a way by which a system developer and a system administrator can work together in figuring out how to architect the system in terms of how the data should be partitioned or replicated, and how the system should fine tune the service by looking at the instantaneous offered load and tuning whether to keep the yield the same or the harvest the same, knowing that DQ is a constant and the server is getting saturated. And finally, when service has to evolve, once again, the system administrator can make an informed decision on how to do this online evolution by controlling the DQ loss that is experienced by the user community at any point of time.